Welcome back, folks. Today we're going to look at something totally different. This is the R1500 solar generator from All Powers. Uh, they contacted me and asked me if I would like to take a look at this, and honestly, I'm really into power generation and whatnot, so I absolutely said send it over. I can't wait to take a look at it. They sent the solar generator along with a 200-watt solar panel. Post a comment below and let me know if you've used one of these before, and if you have, let me know how well you like it. So on the solar generator here, you can turn this button on. That's your main on-off button, and it's got a display. It tells you how much battery power is left. Uh, it tells you how much wattage is coming in via charging and how much wattage is going out being used through the outlets. Uh, this is also a UPS, which stands for Uninterrupted Power Supply, which that's really cool for certain electronics that are sensitive, like maybe a computer system or maybe home health care equipment, such as an oxygen concentrator or something like that, or maybe even a, a sleep apnea machine, something like that. If you need to make sure it's running, if there's a power outage, this thing will do that also. But on the front here, we've got two USB-A ports that'll charge up to 18 watts. We've got two USB-C ports that'll go up to 100 watts each. We've got a old school cigarette lighter style 12 volt output that'll do up to 120 watts. And we've got 420 volt 1800 watt outlets, which this is, this is an 1800 watt device. It'll power up to 1800 watts. At 120 volts, that's 15 amps. So these out, these outlets here are combined total. You can get 15 amps out of these. Now, that's standard home wall outlet on a 15 amp breaker. That's what you get out of your home outlet is, is, is 1800 watts. So this should theoretically power anything that can be plugged into a home wall outlet. Then on the side here, you got these nice little spring-loaded doors. There's uh, two ports in there for battery expansion. You can buy external batteries to increase the capacity of this device and they would plug into those two ports there. On the back there's nothing but your serial number and product label. On this side you've got your 110 volt outlet for charging off the, out of the wall. You've got a circuit breaker reset and then you've got a TX60 plug for plugging in solar panels for solar charging. And it says on there the maximum input is 13 amps. And then on the top of the device, I'll put up some pictures here, you've got two wireless charging pads for smartphones. And these each do 15 watts a piece for a total of 30 watts of total wireless charging. Now I've tried this with two of my smartphones and this does support wireless fast charging as you can see in the picture. There's a bag that comes with the solar generator that has uh, some cable, a, a cable in it. And then there's another pouch on the solar panel that comes with a bunch of extra cables. And I've put them all in here just for the video. I'll show you what, it, what all it comes with. The solar generator itself comes with this cable. It goes from a TX60 plug down to MC4 plugs, your standard MC4 plugs for solar panels. And that's what you would use to plug the solar panel array into the solar generator. Then it comes with a set of alligator clamps, see if you can see that, that convert over to MC4 connectors. Then it comes with a Another cable that goes from MC4 to Anderson power pole style connector. And then it also comes with a cable that goes from MC4 connectors to a barrel connector, depending on, you know, some of the older generators, solar generators used a barrel style connector for charging. And if you're gonna do that, it comes with an assortment of barrel adapters. So that's pretty cool. Now, I will say the owner's manual that comes with it is fairly well written. It's, uh, it's not a very large owner's manual. You know, this has multiple languages in it. It's fairly well written. It's very easy to understand, or fairly easy to understand. And it comes with a lot of diagrams and pictures. So it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty easy to figure out how to run this thing. Plus, it's very intuitive to begin with. It's not a difficult machine to operate. All right, before we go any farther, I want to put this up on the screen here so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, this is a graphic that I put together. It's got some specs on it. I won't go through all of them, but uh, 
if you have any questions, you can pause it and read this for yourself. The All Powers R1500 solar generator. It's an 1152 watt hour uh, battery capacity. They're a lithium iron phosphate battery, four AC outlets, four USB outlets, two USB A and two USB C. There's a car port, like I said, that goes up to 120 amps. You can charge AC input up to 6.8 amps, solar input up to 650 watts, car charger, you can, uh, you can input from your car 12 to 24 volts, which is nice. It'll do the two wireless charging, like I said. And then, of course, it says scalability. It's expandable. And the UPS option there, the, uh, the uninterrupted power supply, it'll switch over from main grid power to battery power running off the inverter built inside the, the solar generator here. Whatever you've got plugged into it, it'll switch over from main power to battery power within 15 milliseconds. And I'm going to show you that here in a few minutes here. I'm going to show you how quick it'll switch. It's pretty cool. And of course, it does have an app that you can use on your cell phone. And I'll show you a little bit about the app here in, a, in a, just a minute. But there is one more graphic I wanted to put up on screen for you. And it's just a little bit more specific information. It's, uh, it's of course, it's a lithium iron phosphate battery. But here's what I found interesting. I thought it was pretty, pretty neat. This is the type of protection that the battery itself has. It has high temperature protection, low temperature protection, over discharge protection, over charge protection, overload protection, short circuit protection, and over current protection. So, you know, these lithium batteries, if they're not handled correctly, they can be, you know, somewhat dangerous, but because it has all this protection built in, it makes it, you know, not a problem. So, and then of course it shows the operating temperatures there. And now this is one thing that I wanted to show you specifically here. When you're charging this solar generator, there's three different levels of input of charge. And the only way you can switch that, you can't switch that with anything on, with physical buttons on the device itself. That is only switchable via the app. And fast mode is 1500 watts of charge. Standard mode is 1000 watts of charge. And mute mode is 400 or self-adjusting technology to achieve mute, meaning no fans to keep the, the unit cool. It'll only allow in so much power before it would need to turn the fans on, and it sh stops it just short of turning the fans on. And that charging power adjustment needs to be set under the mode switch in the app. I've got some screenshots here that show how to uh, get into the app. So screenshot number one there, you can see it's just what the standard app, the, the main screen of the app looks like. And you can see the AC, in this particular picture, the AC output is turned on. And you can turn on and off the AC and DC from the app. In picture number two, you can see the DC has been turned on. Now, if you look up near the top right corner of the screen, right underneath my battery percentage there, there's the three little dots. If you click the three little dots, it'll bring you into uh, a setting page. And this is what the setting page looks like. And then at the top there, it says work mode. And then next to that, there's a drop down that says standard mode. And if you click that drop down, then you'll see you got mute mode, standard mode, and fast mode. And that's how you adjust the charge rate for your specific wants and needs. Now, this device does support dual charging. And what that means is it, the, the, the dual charging means you can be charging this via AC wall power and solar power. Now, it doesn't really mention it in the manual anywhere. That, I mean, I looked back and forth several times specifically looking for that option. It didn't say anything about it, which I found interesting. But on their website, and I'll put this up so you can see it better, under feature specifications, it's four ways to charge. AC, solar, auto, and double AC solar. I'm going to blow it up for you there you can, so you can see it a little bit better. So it'll, it says double AC plus solar. And as long as we're on this page, if you go down to the bottom, I mentioned earlier, this device is expandable. You can get extra batteries for it and plug them into those ports that I showed you. Here is the batteries that plug in B1000 expansion batteries from, from All Powers. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you, I thought was kind of funny. This is not a knock on All Powers or anybody. This is just something humorous that I found in the manual. So I'll put this up on the screen. I scanned this myself. This is a scan from the manual. And if you'll notice on number 14, that's the UPS, Uninterruptible Power Supply logo. 
That's the option on UPS. When that's lit up, that means the UPS function is enabled. And here's a blow up in case you can't see it. I can blow it up here so you can see it a little bit better. Now what I thought was funny was <laughs> they chose the same logo for uninterruptible power supply as a nationwide delivery company. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, they, they took the United Parcel Service logo and used that for their UPS, their uninterruptible power supply logo. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you an example of the UPS and how that works. Let me get set up here. I'll be right with you here. Okay, so if you notice on the screen, that UPS logo is lit. And you can see I've got this plugged in over here to a power strip which has a switch on it. And I'm going to plug this into one of the outlets. You can see that that is now illuminated. And I'm going to simulate a power outage by turning off the power here. Now when I click that switch off, watch how quickly, it, it's not even a blink. You might not even be able to notice it. This is how quickly it switches over to battery power. Happened just about instantly. And if I turn the power back on, it won't click back instantly. It's like the machine waits to make sure it's not just some random grid spike. It wants to make sure that it's steady power back on, and then it'll click back over. So I'll turn, turn the power back on now. And now it clicked back. Here at our house, we have somebody with, that's using an oxygen concentrator. And I'll put up a picture here so you can see. Now, this is going to come in real handy for the next time we have a power outage. And we have them all the time. We live in an old neighborhood with an old grid, an old city with above ground utilities. And we have storms and wind storms and ice storms. We lose power all the time. And when we do, the person on the oxygen concentrator now all of a sudden doesn't have the proper air to breathe. Well, with this uninterrupted power supply, the thing can, you know, the power can go out and this will switch over and that person will have all the air they need for at least, you know, several hours until we can get plan B set up and going. So this is really going to come in handy for us specifically. And another thing that I've used this for was after I received it, I had some, you know, it's fall cleanup time around here. It's getting ready for winter. I wanted to trim some low hanging branches in the backyard. So instead of stringing out, you know, a couple hundred feet of uh, extension cable, extension cord, I just brought this out there and I just plugged the saw into here and then reached up and cut the branches off that I needed to cut. It worked really slick. It's really, really comes in handy. And you know, there's multiple, multiple reasons that you could use this for is for home backup, for, for emergency backup, for, for camping, for off grid living, for your, your motor home, your RV, your, um, maybe for running a microwave at the job site so you can cook lunch or what, I mean, just, just think about the endless, the endless uses for something. When these things first came out, I kind of thought they were silly. I really didn't think much of them. I just figured it was a fancy battery in a box. You know they don't generate anything you know the term solar generator i thought was kind of kind of uh, misleading but honestly after seeing how well these things work and considering the technology that's in this box you know you've got a, a lithium battery which is very power dense and you've got a, a, a charge controller and an inverter and all the software and hardware that makes it all work together and all the protection and all the, sw the automatic switching and multiple different voltages and amperages and i mean everything to work together just as smoothly and seamlessly as this does, it's very impressive. And then, you know, you, you can expand it with more, more and more batteries. You can obviously get bigger and smaller or multiple solar panels. I mean, it really is really, really impressive. If you're watching this video near Black Friday, uh, be sure to check out the deals from All Powers because they usually put out some really good deals on this stuff. Uh, I'll have some links below the video in case you're interested. Anyway, I may be doing another video on this one in the future. I want to do some very specific uh, electrical testing, like capacity testing and, you know, output wattage and voltage. And uh, I'm going to dig a little deeper into this. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'll make that video. If not, well, I might just make it anyway. That's all I have for now. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.